Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if this is not your first time hanging out with me. Um, I just did a live video of this deck and kind of flipping through the cards, but it was really hard to see some of the detail on the cards. So I wanted to go and do a quick flip through of this deck and book and oracle set. Um, it is called the Ark Animal Tarot and Oracle Deck. It's 100 multi-use cards and guidebook. Channeled and created by Bernadette King, art and Heidi, art by Heidi Sutherland. This deck is cool, you guys. This is like a really, this box is great. It's a nice hard, hard box. And of course, I'm throwing things everywhere. <laughs> Apologies. Um, but it's got this nice magnetic closure. You open it up and it says, this arc belongs to, and you can, if you're so inclined, put your name there and kind of, of course, I put it back together upside down. My bad. But you get this book that is really, really, really cool. Now, this book, really quickly, let's just talk for a second. Um, how to use the arc. A symbolic key to the arc, which it just goes and it shows you... Um, different kinds of um, geography, sacred, uh, sacred geometry, elements and influences, card suits. So the playing card associations are marked on the cards of the tarot deck, um, zo the Western Zodiac and the Chinese Zodiac. All of these symbols can be found throughout the cards themselves, which is really, really cool and kind of adds a lot of deep layers to these cards and helps to understand them. So um, the difference between spirit totem and power animals, um, cardinal directions, east, south, west, north, the five elements, oracle card readings, tarot card readings, animal symbolism in tarot, numerology in tarot, this would be a great deck for beginners. And it goes in with the Major Arcana. It gives you an overview. Now, this deck is, I mean, this book is fully illustrated. And you get a lot of information for just one card. Each card tells you so, so, so much. Now, I wanted to add two. Now, this deck has 78 tarot cards, and it has 22 oracle cards that come with it, with this box set. Now, there are, um, there's like an expansion pack of oracle decks that you can get to go with this, and they are also represented in this book. So, for example, in this box set, I did not get a mongoose card. However, I can go and order the expansion set for this. Another thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't before in my live chat, um, it says bonus inside the book is a URL, a web address for six free classes, which include intuitive tarot and psychic development and working with spirit, totem and power animals. So that is really cool and very helpful, especially for someone who might just be beginning out, beginning their journey with tarot and oracle or divination. So cardomancy, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, great book, really thick and juicy. Good stuff there. Now let's start with, um, let me pull this out. This is the tarot deck here. And I'll get the oracle deck out and set it aside and set the box aside. I'm just going to do a quick, real quick flip through of this. Um, I'm going to, th I think, lower this so that we can see these up closer. Sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. Here we go. Let's just do, now notice this. At the bottom of the card, you have a symbol here, and then up here you've got some sacred geometry. Um, the puffin represents the fool, and it. we have keywords, childlike wonder, trust, and freedom. You see, this is why this is a very good deck for beginners. It kind of helps you kind of gain your footing and understanding. And I'm just going to flip through. I'm not going to go through each one, but you see here, again, we've got the symbolism down here along the bottom. And 
And the cow is the empress. Let's see. Trigger warning if you don't like spiders and snakes. There's... <laughs> It happens. Okay. So just going through quickly. I'm sorry I'm not taking more time on each of these. I did, like I said, I did a live video earlier, but this is just to give you more of a close-up view of the cards. I should mention too that the card stock is really good. Not too thick, not too thin. Um, the size of the cards themselves, sorry, there I'm making you guys, making you guys sick again with how I'm flinging stuff around. Um, here's a Pam's Vintage Tarot up against one of these. So they are bigger than a standard tarot deck. However, they are, it's smaller than some oracles that I've used. So... Continuing to flip through here. Just, I love this little duck for the sun. And look, it looks like he's smiling. Isn't that cool? Um, and I noticed too, as I was looking through the animals that were chosen to represent different cards, I was kind of impressed because some of it just really makes so much sense. Like, for example, here, the frog. Um, the energy of the frog with the contemplation, apathy, and new opportunities, um, it, that makes sense to me. A lot of sense for a Four of Cups card. Um, oh my goodness. Manatee. The otter. Beaver. I just really think that there is a lot to learn from this deck, even if you are not a beginner. Um, I really look forward to getting into, I love this puffer fish, you guys. Look at his face, and it looks like he's smiling. Um, there's, there's a lot to, to learn in this deck. There's a lot of depth to it. And I love the fact that the creator has included classes, you know, free classes to go on and, and learn I mean, I know that, yes, we have YouTube, and it's kind of easy to get on and find somebody that you resonate with that you feel like you'd like to learn from and learn that way for free. But this, in this case, it's the deck creator, and so you might be able to glean a lot more about the intention behind some of the cards and why certain things were chosen. So that's cool. Just once again, going quickly, 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 quickly. Look at that goat. I love it. This is a great deck for all ages, really. Just working my way through, guys. Going as quick as I can. Because it does tend to take me a really long time to upload. I have really, really poor internet here. So, and you probably don't want to sit here all night watching this, but this is giving you an idea of what the cards themselves look like, and, and see, again here, with the symbolism across the bottom, you know, this shows, you know, this represents Asia, um, not entirely sure what that one right there represents in the middle for this Nine of Swords black swan um, but we do know that the uh, spades do represent swords and it's nice to have that playing card association so that it kind of works its way into you you know if you're just starting out and you don't know what playing card associations go with each <laughs> look at that cat oh cute um, it is nice to have playing card associations I think in my very, very humble hillbilly opinion. And see, now we've moved on to wands, so we've got clubs. Here we go, here we go. Sorry, this is not the most well thought out 
video I have ever done. And I'm kind of rushing. However, if you want to see these cards better, I'm sure that you can pause <laughs> and study them closer. Now, that was just the tarot portion. So, I'm going to set them aside and grab the oracles. Here are the oracle. Now, see, this is just 22 oracle cards. I was kind of doing this backwards, wasn't I? Okay. The tortoise. Home is where the heart is. Sugar glider. Snail. Sheep. Porcupine. Possum. Moose. Let me do it this way. I can go faster this way. <laughs> I don't even know what this little dude is, but I can learn about it in the book. That's an animal that I'm not familiar with, actually. Ladybug. Koala. Kangaroo. Hippo and eel. Dove. Dog. Oh. I just always stop and sigh when I see that dog because I used to have a border collie that was amazing. Coyotes. Chameleon. And God, now I'm singing it in my head. Karma Chameleon. Boy George. So yeah, there is the Oracle deck that goes along with the Tarot deck. So, I mean, I suppose that one could shuffle them together, you know, and, and use them that way. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave this tarot and this oracle, and I'm going to get the ex expansion to go along with, you know, I have to have the whole set, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are looking for an animal deck, this one is definitely going to be worth it. Um, I got this on Amazon. Um, it is... Really, I mean, the book alone, you guys, is really, really worth having. Really. And if you get the expansion cards that go with, you know, the Oracle deck, you will have, um, they are included in this book. So, yeah. So, I really, really, really am pleased with this. I am pleased, pleased as punch with this deck and um, there's uh, I love you know that this book has numerology and symbolism and sacred geometry and all of those wonderful things and I could go on all day but I think that I'll stop so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe please and hang out with me if I'm not too crazy and weird for you um, yeah, drop a comment below and let me know what you think about this deck. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.